friend, and welcome to the 10 Minute Mind Shift Podcast. I'm your host, Janet Cagle, certified life coach, business strategist, and lover of all things related to up leveling my life and yours. My goal is to help you experience a mind shift that gets you one step closer to your goals, whatever they are. My goal is not to keep you wrapped up in self-help all day, just 10 minutes. And who doesn't have 10 minutes, right? Hello, 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 my friends, and welcome back to the 10 Minute Mind Shift Podcast. I am so excited that you guys are loving these bite-sized knowledge nuggets. My granddaughter, Brinley, has found my podcast, and she said the only thing wrong with it is that it's only 10 minutes long, so she has to listen to it over and over and over again. She just can't get enough. Thank you all for all the reviews, and can I ask, just keep the love coming. That is what's helping this podcast move up the ranks. Thank you so much. I am going to have a giveaway that I'm going to announce in a couple of weeks, so keep coming back and keep listening. All right, so the brain lies on the daily. The part of your brain that lies is the primal part of the brain that has the sophistication of a three-year-old. It's the part of the brain that doesn't understand the rewards of delayed gratification. It wants what it wants, and it wants what it wants now. It's the part of the brain that says one more cookie really won't matter. Who cares? It's the part of the brain that says just hit snooze one more time. Getting up early isn't that important. It's the part of the brain that says stay in bed have another beer, eat all the Cheetos. It's fine. It's the part of the brain that says you aren't worthy enough, good enough, pretty enough, handsome enough. It's where all the scarcity comes from, by the way. That part of the brain is also incredibly amazing on so many levels, but it still lies. It doesn't know that what it's doing is a lie. It thinks it's doing its job to keep you safe. It doesn't mean to be malicious with the lie. It thinks what it's saying is the truth. It's just reporting the news. And we believe it as if it is the news. Its intent is to keep you seeking pleasure, avoiding pain, and conserving energy. And when I say avoid pain, I mean emotional pain. The primal part of the brain seeks to keep you in the cave, my friend. And so this episode, episode six, I'm going to provide you with at least six lies that your brain tells you on the daily and what you can do about it. Number one, something is wrong with me if I'm not happy all the time. It's unbelievable how many of my students have had this thought for so often that they just believe that it's true, that it's just who they are. And I spent years and years thinking that I was so broken. I thought that there must be something wrong with me if I wasn't happy all the time. I thought the goal was to always be happy and always be feeling good. When I learned that life is 50-50, that was a game changer. No matter what, no matter how mature and emotionally involved, evolved you are, you are always going to experience negative emotions 50% of the time and positive emotions 50% of the time. And that, my friends, is the human experience. It's a privilege to experience the full range of emotions available to us. It means we are living a human existence exactly the way we were designed by our Creator. When we don't understand that, we find ourselves caught in the loops of negative emotions and sitting in the belief that there must be something wrong. When we understand the 50-50 of the human experience, it actually feels more like 70-30 or even maybe 80-20. Think about the privilege of being able to experience joy. The only way that we can know joy is to have something to compare it against. And for me, that's sadness. We can only know joy with our sadness. When something bad happens that breaks your heart, you want to be able to experience sadness. It's not that we want bad things to happen. It's that we want to be able to express the appropriate emotion to the experience. Some of the most joy that I have experienced has been with my horses, and that's also been the most sadness. I would not trade any of the experiences in order to avoid feeling sad, because then I would not have known the joy. So if you are not happy all the time, my friend, guess what? It's totally fine. You are not broken, and nothing has gone wrong. Number two, I can't. We all know that I can't is a lie, and yet we believe it. I can't stop eating. I can't stop spending. I can't stop yelling at the kids. I can't get myself up on time. I can't get to work early enough. No matter what I try, I just can't. Here's the deal. You either don't want to or you need help learning how to. But the truth is, 
you can. If you decide that you don't want to, that's totally cool, but say that and stop buying into the lie that says you can't. You are deciding not to if you do not get the help. And if help is what you decide, I totally got you. Number three, I only worry because I care. Worry is not a preventative strategy. Worry does not prevent the event from happening, ever. Worrying is actually praying to the problem. You worry because you choose to worry. Care has nothing to do with it. You worry because it's familiar and comfortable for you, even if it feels crappy. Number four, that ticked me off, or he ticked me off, or she hurt my feelings, or you'll, you fill in the blank wherever you feel emotionally triggered by what someone else says or does. Here is what is happening. A person says words, and you have thoughts about the words, and that's what's creating your emotions. This is so powerful, my friends. When we believe that someone else is making us feel our emotions, we are abdicating our emotional adulthood to someone else, and we are stepping into emotional childhood. Now, you might want to be mad when someone says something or does something, but the point that I want to make here is that it is your thoughts about the circumstance that is creating your emotions. People do not have that much power over us emotionally without us giving it to them. This is probably where I have had the most transformation over the last couple of years. I was always at the effect of what others were saying or doing to control my mood and emotional well-being. Learning that I had the power and then learning how to manage it, that's everything. Number five, if only, and you fill in the blank, that would solve everything. Now, in this, ver- in this version of the thought, you can insert, if only I could lose the weight, if only I could find the perfect man, if only I had that house or that car, if only I made 100K in my business. Whatever it is that you think will solve all of your problems and make you happy is a lie, and it prevents you from being happy now. There is no better there than here. We do this a lot with losing weight and making money. If I weighed blank, then I would be happier, or feel worthy. If I made 100K, I would feel legit or feel more valuable or love my job more or love my boss more or love my coworkers more or my business more. Listen, you have the ability to feel however you think you would feel if you created that result. That is available to you right now. In fact, you must access that emotion right now and be fueled by that emotion in order to create the result that you want. Number six, that's just the way I am. It sounds like this. I'm just not a morning person. It's just the way I am. I'm just not ambitious. I never have been. I'm just not a person who can focus. That's just the way I am. All of those are a lie. You get to define who you are. And who you are depends on what you think about yourself. You are not just like anything that you don't decide to be. You get to decide who you want to be. Now, if any of these lies that your brain throws you on the daily are working for you and you're creating the results of your heart's desire, then rock on, my friend. But if not, then decide to think different thoughts. Decide to think thoughts that support the outcomes that you want to create. Want a better job? Start thinking better thoughts about your current job. Want a better relationship with hubby? Start thinking better thoughts about hubby. Want a thinner body? Start throwing your current body some love thoughts. This all sounds so simple, and in theory, it is, but it's not easy. And that's why I hired a coach several years ago to walk me through this process and coach me into creating different results. And that's why I encourage you to work with a coach, even if it's not me. I actually followed my coach for a year before I reached out and started working with her. I don't recommend that. There is no reason to wait. You can start fast-tracking your results today. I'm going to put a link in the show notes to my website and also to all the free virtual workshops that I have available to you. But if you are ready to start taking your results to the next level right now, let's chat. That's a wrap of the 10 minute mind shift podcast. I hope that you were able to experience your own mind shift today. Listen, if you're ready to take this work to the next level, I highly recommend life by design Academy. It's my one-on-one coaching program that offers you a transformation at the speed of life. 